Okay, let's see what this sounds like uh, a little randied out. Randy Rhodes. Let's put a little that, a little bit of this, a little of this. Let's see what it sounds like. <laughs> Not bad. It's kind of late. It's like two in the morning. I'm sitting there watching NASA. So uh, there you go. There's a little taste of this. All I've done to it is put stickers on it. I was gonna get a guy to do this Mars or Mick Mars, but in the Gibson lettering. But he's being a dipshit. So I just went down to the local craft store and picked out some lettering myself and did it. What the hell? Like this. You can get it all over the place. Amazon or, you know, craft store places. I used to have a guy that'd make all these stickers for my guitars and I can't find him. He, uh, he moved his business. So there you go. Uh, I have no stories to tell. I, I really don't, you know, 
I put up some Motley Crue pictures that I found from back in the beginning of the shout out. Well, not the beginning. Because at the beginning of the Shout Out the Devil tour, they looked like they did on the album. And then as the tour, I mean within two months, they went from leather to uh, spandex or pleather. Uh, I think Vince is wearing spandex, but the rest of them wearing that pleather like I did. It's fake leather so you don't boil to death because if you're wearing all leather, you're going to die on stage. It's just too hot. Believe me, I almost passed out a few times when I had full leather pants, leather jacket, and I actually kept on my gloves because playing bass, I just cut the fingers off and I play, oh my gosh. I had to rip the jacket off after the second song because I was getting all dizzy. <laughs> but uh, there you go. So I put those Shout at the Devil pictures up that, uh, you know what? I don't remember. I think they were taken, I'm not sure. I put up a date, but I, I got to make sure uh, where they were taken. I mean, the early ones are easy because, you know, those are all the Whiskey and the Roxy and Troubadour. Mainly the Whiskey and Roxy, though. Oh, and Magic Mountain. Took a bunch of pictures there, too. Uh, no Country Club. I don't think I ever bought a camera into the Country Club. It was, they didn't allow it, so I didn't try. But everybody else, everywhere else, yeah. But... <laughs> As far as Motley Crue, I'm tired of talking about them. I just like Mick. And you know all the stuff that Mick said? Yeah, nothing. That's how I like it. Quiet. Shut up. Don't make yourself to be an idiot like Tommy and uh, Frankie. Frankie didn't die the other night. He friggin' is still little Frankie Ferrana. And he... Uh, He's still dealing with that. And I guess he's naming his daughter Herman. <laughs> he should. But, why, well, you know, I know he won't because... <laughs> because his wife and his mother-in-law, they're strict Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saint members. Just like Nicky was raised, his grandparents were, and his great-great-grandparents were actually knew my great-great-grandparents. They both were working in Cedar City, Parowan, Utah in the 1800s. His great-great-grandfather, great-great-great-grandfather, and my great-great-great-grandfather, mine was Ebenezer Hanks, his was something hate. Not hate, like H-A-T-E, but H-A-I-G-H-T. Anyways, his great-great-grandfather was the, uh, like the big bishop, stake president of that area. And my great-great-grandfather was like the judge. And he was in charge of all the, the money for the ironworks down in southern Utah. He comes from a long line of Mormons. He just doesn't want to talk about it, I guess. But, yeah, that Nona, she was Mormon. Whatever. Chris Holmes from Wasp, who's gone off the deep end, I guess, with religion, because he's living with that more, or that uh, millionaire chick that makes, lets him smoke too much pot. He grew up Mormon. He, he was thinking about going back to church even about 25 years ago when his life was in the toilet. But now that he's been saved again, I do. But you'd be surprised how many people, well, you know, uh, what's his name? Mick Ronson, David Bowie, member of the church. Uh, of course, the bass player from New York Dolls, Kane, he was also uh, Wasp, Nikki. Uh, who else that I can think of fast? Uh, da, 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 da. There's like a bunch of other me, but uh, you know who cares? 
you don't want to get into religion and politics because people get all freaky. That's why I stay out of it. You'll never see me up here preaching or politicking. I want all my stuff to be about guitars and music and stuff that people can all, you know, relate to and have a good time and not get too heavy. Got it? Good. I was just giving you a little information, like a little insight. I don't, you know, that's just something to know. That's all. So I will see you guys later. <laughs>